Good evening, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, April 18th, 2018. This is going to be my last report for tonight. But uh, we're looking at uh, April 20th. They have a lot of things coming together. And uh, I just, you know, we're, we're watching, right? Okay, so we're, we're watching April 20th. And um, I got to looking at the number 42. I remember that uh, it's been said on my page, somebody, um, I, I can't remember the person's name right now, but someone who makes comments on my page quite often and has mentioned that uh, the number 42 is associated with the Antichrist. Well, so we're watching April 20th, which is 420, which is 442. I talked about 42 uh, a couple weeks ago, and I went over this article. I think we were looking at April 2nd. The answer to life, the universe, and everything, the number 42. Well, I found one other article I wanted to share with you, and I want to read a portion of it to you. And just leave this information. Um, you know, I guess it's not my, my point or purpose or job to do a, a complete and and uh, absolutely exhaustive study on on the subjects I uh, I cover, but uh, it's to get the word out there and to get people thinking and to kind of like being a uh, being an arrow, you know, or a, or a point of the you know a, a point that can help spark you know study and uh, other people who are also you know can make connections based on the things that I am sharing and so this article here is uh, the title of it is biblical numerology the number 42 good or bad this is a great article if you want to read this I'll leave the link for you but uh, let's read from here I'm gonna read starting right here it says the four the number 42 appears in several places throughout the holy bible if i'm remembering correctly then israel camped 42 times in the wilderness during the exodus the goat's hair and linen curtains covering the sanctuary have a length of 42 and 40 cubits jesus was 42 generations from abraham 42 cities are given to the levites in addition to six cities of refuge Two female bear, bears kill 42 children after they ridiculed the prophet of God. Later in 2 Kings, Jehu slaughters 42 relatives of Ahaziah of Judah during his purge of the house of Ahab. The young men of Bethel are leaders of idolatry as are the 42 relatives of Ahaziah. In both cases, you have Yahweh's avengers, destroying 42 men. So the number links the work of Elisha with the work of Jehu, which is what, is what is God trying to teach us here? Well, one thing is obvious. God doesn't much like the number 42. Or maybe I should say that bad things are associated with it. Okay, not all of the things associated with it are bad things as evidenced by Jesus Christ being 42 generations from Abraham. But I think you get the point that a majority are. The number 42 is also a number that's clearly connected with the Antichrist. An important part of his career is to last for 42 months. And, then, and, the, and thus the number is fixed upon him. Another number associated with the Antichrist is 1260, and this is 30 by 42. Its factors are 6 and 7. 6 times 7 is 42, and this shows a connection between man and the Spirit of God and between Jesus Christ and the Antichrist. Being a multiple of 7, it might be supposed that it would be connected with spiritual perfection, but it is the product of 6 times 7. 6, therefore, being the number of man and man's opposition to God, 
42 becomes significant of the working out of man's opposition to God. Hum, I wonder if there may be something more in common in the common phrase about things being all sixes and sevens. They are so indeed when man is mixed up with the things of God and when religious flesh engages in spiritual things, taking this association with the coming Antichrist idea to a whole new and ridiculous level, we all know that many have speculated that Nimrod or his resurrected spirit would embody the future Antichrist. Well, in Germatria, 42 is a factor in the number of Nimrod's name, which is 294, or 42 times 7. And my research turned up a few additional facts, and you can go on to read the rest of that article. Now, I want to uh, remind everybody what we have been watching about the 42 months of the reign of Antichrist and the 1260 days. So let's take a look at this compared to April 20th. That is the uh, 420. It's also Hitler's birthday. Code 420 is the day uh, marijuana was legalized. And uh, so we have 420 connected to 42, April 20th, 42. And maybe this would be the beginning of the 42-month reign of the Antichrist, which is 1260 days. Now let's take a look at this. Okay, the first thing I want to share with you is that on the Torah calendar right now, if we look at day two of the second month, we're looking at April 18th and 19th. This shows up at, as day two. If we go to the Hebrew calendar, this is already showing as the third day of ER. And um, depending on the time of day, there are sometimes one or two days different between the Hebrew calendar and the Torah calendar. Okay, so we have been watching the, uh, the beginning of the tribulation around April 17th or 18th, and we were running the numbers from April 17th or 18th, 1260 days, which is 42 months, According to Revelation 12, 3 through 6, 1260 days. That brought us to September 28th, 2021, which is the eighth day of assembly, the last great day of tabernacle. So we have an amazing connection here. But what happens if we, if we are moving our beginning date from April 17th to April 20th, what will happen? Let's take a look. Okay, so here we run the numbers from April 20th, 2018, adding 1260 days and we come to September 30th, 2021. Now we were looking at September 28th. And now we're at September 30th. So this is a two-day difference. And what we see then is between the Torah calendar and the Hebrew calendar, this, is, this still lines up with the last great day of tabernacles on the Torah calendar. And the Torah calendar actually does a better job of following the, the true date based on the new moon each month. Okay, so the number 42 links us with the number of the Antichrist, 42 months. It's connected to the 1260 days, and it's also connected to April 20th, which is 420. Okay, so I just wanted to throw this out there and uh, give you guys this information. We are in the highest watch we have ever been in, and Israel right now is in their 70th anniversary celebration through April 20th.